hello everyone uh, and welcome to our uh, one of the lecture that is a uh, electrical traction and control uh, in today's lecture we will do a numerical practice for one of the numerical very common that is a uh, based on the trapezoidal speed time curve so i have shared my screen and uh, now let us uh, take one very simple numerical and then we will see how we can solve it so now the data given that is the uh, average speed average speed is given that is a uh, 40 km per hour normally we have average speed we have scheduled speed and we have maximum speed right so speed that is in km per hour so average speed is given in the data that is 40 km per hour then we have been given distance distance between two station that is 2 km right and that we know that it can be indicated as a d so d and average speed we know that uh, it can be v and a a indicates average speed and v that is for the speed right so two data is given and additionally we have been given alpha and beta alpha we know that it is a rate of acceleration and beta that is a rate of retardation alpha and beta is given it is 1.5 km per hour per second the unit for the alpha and the unit for the beta that is in kilometer per hour per second that is the rate of acceleration and rate of retardation alpha is given 1.5 and beta is given 2.5 and the task is given that is uh, we need to find the maximum speed and that is we know that it is a v amp m suffix we use for maximum speed so this we need to find and uh, we have to assume it is given that uh, take trapezoidal speed time curve trapezoidal speed time curve that is a simplified we know that it is a simplified speed time curve normally for the sake of calculation we take a simplified speed time curve so now this much data is given and now we start our calculation to find the maximum speed with this one numerical i mean the similar kind of numericals uh, multiple numericals uh, we can calculate based on the given data whatever data has been asked that we have to find in this numerical we have been given this much of data and we have to find uh, maximum speed so for the maximum speed when we use a trapezoidal speed time curve we have to use one basic uh, equation that is a uh, it is given as a vm that is a t t is a total time of run that is not given that we will have to find out t minus t square minus 14400 kd under root and divided by 2k right where d is a distance that is in kilometer and that is given t that is total time of run that is not given that we have to find out so t we will be uh, first we will find out the t and then k k we know that that is a 1 upon alpha 1 upon 2 alpha plus 1 upon 2 2 beta so we will have to find uh, t as well as k so first uh, total time of run total time of run it is capital t see we have three parameters one is speed one is distance and one is time so based on all these three parameters any one parameter if other two are given then we can easily able to find in case of t now that is a total distance traveled that is d and divided by speed so distance divided by speed that is a uh, time or we can say that the time multiplied by speed 
then we have a distance so average speed is given so we will find out d that is given 2 km and uh, speed is given that is a uh, 40 km per hour see now we will have to change this data into second because here we require data in second so we will have to multiply by 3600 3600 that is a conversion from second from hour to second right so then it comes to 2 divided by 40 3600 multiplied by 2 that is 7200 and divided by 40 then it comes to 180 so it is a 180 second so now total time of run that is available so from this equation one of the data which was not available that we have uh, find out now then we have find k so let us take the equation for the k so for the k we know that it is uh, 1 upon 2 alpha alpha is uh, the rate of acceleration plus 1 upon 2 beta so if we simplify then uh, it can be written as uh, 1 divided by 2 that is 1 half and uh, uh, we have simplified that is alpha plus beta divided by uh, alpha multiplied by beta so now it is very simple so we can uh, write the values that is 1 divided by 2 in the bracket we have alpha plus beta that is a 1.5 plus 2.5 so it is a 4 and divided by 1.5 multiplied by 2.5 so it comes to 1.5 multiplied by 2.5 then it comes to 3.75 3.75 so it comes to 4 divided by 3.75 divided by 2 so it comes to 0.533 0 0.533 so this is a factor k so now we have all the values are available and we can substitute this value and in the equation p we have now 180 seconds so we have p then we have t square so 180 multiplied by 180 so it comes to 32400 0, 32400 Zero, 0 that is t square minus 14400 0, 0, multiplied by k k is a 0 0.533 so k and multiplied by d d is a 2 kilometer right so multiplied by 2 so calculation is very easy but uh, you need to take care i mean there should not be any mistake otherwise uh, your answer will be uh, wrong 2k is a 0 0.533 right so now it is very simple now we have to simplify the equation so what we do is uh, we take uh, this equation as it is so 180 now first we do the internal part that is a uh, 14400 multiplied by 0.533 multiplied by 2 and then it comes to 15350 15350 so it comes to 15350 right and here we have multiplication that is 0.533 multiplied by 2 then it comes to 1.066 so here we have 1.066 so now again still we have to do the simplification so we take this uh, and we write so now here 32400 3, 2, 0, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 minus 15 so it comes to 1.7050 one seven zero five zero right divided by one point zero six six now we have to take the square root 
So if we take the square root of 170050, then it becomes it comes to 130. So here we can substitute the value that is a 130. Now it is very simple. So 18180 minus 130 and divided by 1.066. then it comes to 46.90 46.90 that is speed that is a kilometer per hour so this way with the help of a given data it is very easy to calculate uh, maximum speed because in this numerical we have been asked to calculate the maximum speed so now we have different uh, similar examples you can do the practice on your own so i uh, stop my uh, presentation thank you for doing this practice thank you very much